Yeah, I don't know if bot is playable, guys. <laughs> I think it might not be playable bot. And it's not gonna get any better either. I don't see how that lane gets any better with time. Ooh, he's dead actually. He's dead. It's W soon, but he's dead anyway, I think. He cancel. He cancelled, right? Wait, how was he healing so much? For sure I thought he was dead, but I guess not. Did he cancel the Q? Or was it the cookie? Yeah, maybe the cookie. Because he regened way more than I thought. Wait, he's almost... <laughs> he's half HP again. <laughs> Doran Shield and I guess his second win, Doran Shield, he had Cookie and Potion running and his passive as well. Yeah, that's a lot of healing. Fiora is actually lower now. <laughs> Skipping camps on Sejuani, or he even did. He started red and ran all the way back to top. I'm okay, dead for sure. You don't flash this, right? Because Sejuani can flash out too. Wait, you wasted flash? That flash was so bad. I don't think Jankos should Q though, because if he flashes the Q, unless you Q flash, you probably don't get him. I think you should flash auto there if you're Jankos. Because then even if he flash, you Q after, and if he doesn't flash, you just take your flash for a kill. But by Qing like that, he could actually maybe flash out. And you flip having to flash at the end of your Q to catch him. It worked out anyway, and Inspired even wasted his flash, but I think that was actually not the way to go for Jankos. I think this is exactly what they need to do the entire game. Just two men running around, Jankos Targamas fighting with caps and broken blades. He's dead, actually. That was a good flash ult by caps. Good job. I think this is a, this is exactly what they need to do all game. Targamas, Jankos linked up, running around, fighting with either Caps or Broken Blade, depending on the wave states. What if he just... What if he just doesn't flash Insta, Jojo, and he ults Caps back and then flashes after instead? Would make more sense, right? Instead of flashing and trying to ult after. Better to ult first and then flash if you're Jojo. Regardless, good play by G2, I think. And you don't care if Flucket falls behind in CS, it's not important for the game. As long as you don't give too many plates and uh, kills to Varus, I think you don't care that you are down in CS on Aphelios. But they need to link up again Jankos and Targamas. Right now they are on different sides of the map, I think they should try to group right now. Because you see here they are contesting this blue from different sides, if they came from the same side it would be much easier. So if they can link up now, it would be good to try to do that. I think Targaman should go to Jankos now. Should not go both here. Or at the very least, after this wave, bot or after Jankos Grom, they should link up and go together again. I think they should be together. Like, I think Targaman should be where Caps is now. I don't think he should be in the bot lane. He doesn't offer anything bot lane because they're most likely not getting that push anyway. Actually, maybe gank behind. He's not on vision. And no ult on Tom. No cleanse as well on Varus. Double flash. I don't think they can. Double flash is really nice to get. But Rel used flash as well, right? Unless she used it mid. Jankos has ult. These guys are just dead. They're just double dead, actually. If they cancel Tom as well, they're double dead. Yeah, they cancel Tom. That was so smart by Jankos. Good job. The game is looking really good, actually. They play, they play well. They play well, actually. Fighting together. First, Targamas Jankos going mid, and now Caps coming bot. And this play by Jankos was really good. The, the cancel on Tam was really good. Bars is guaranteed kill, so it's good that you cancel the Tam W there. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how EG win this game. It has to be team fighting, but Nightly has no purpose in team fighting. I actually don't know what the purpose of Nightly is in this draft, to be honest with you. Because normally when I see Nightly, I think about volatile lanes, like a Renekton top or something that can give you an angle. But I don't really see which lane is volatile this game. It could be mid, in theory. But I don't feel Nidalee is known for playing around mid. She's more known for playing around side lanes, right? Like either playing hard bot or hard top. And I think with Maokai, Virus, Tam, you're not playing hard on either of these lanes. So I don't think the Nidalee picks makes sense. I think it would be better to put... Uh, it would be better to put Maokai jungle and pick another top. Or just put... A normal mid in your comp, so that you're not forced to play AP. You don't have to play this set, you can play something else. Mid a normal mage, for example. Keep Maokai jungle, pick a tank top. You could have Orn, Maokai, Asir, for example. I don't know if they all were open, but a comp similar to this would make much more sense, I think. Mm, don't want him, though. This is what I don't want to see from G2, but they're doing it anyway. Fidos has a good ult here. Caps might kill everyone. Yep. I think they can chase more actually. He has full conqueror stacks as well. I don't think he can keep it, but they might be able to chase more. Does he have Sonya? No. He doesn't have flash either. But he can kind of fight. He didn't heal much. So I don't really like this front to front fighting like five five G two members on right, five G two member uh, five EG members on left. I don't really like this because I think it's incorrect way of using the Fiora, but yeah, maybe they're uh, they're ahead enough for it to not matter, but I think it's incorrect what they're doing here. Harold is not that important. It's not worth for you to risk losing this fight because for a second there, it almost looks like they're all gonna get wiped, right? And I really think the Herald is not worth that risk. It would be better to preemptively make the call to have Fiora push bot, for example, so that when EG goes there as five, you get bot waves and bot camps maybe, or even a chunk or a full tier two bot for the Herald instead of going to Herald like this. I, I don't think it's worth the risk, but maybe they're ahead enough for it to not matter. I just think Fiora is not used properly here. It's better than to try to pull Maokai to side and play 4v4, or if Maokai is there, just trade sides on the map and get advantage elsewhere. Because I think that kind of fight or that kind of scenario is the only scenario where EG wins this game. So G2 should not give it to them, because here they are giving it to them. He has no flash, so he's dead for sure. They just have to get the right tank. Yankos has to get the tank, yeah. And fighting mid at the same time. I guess they know set this bot without TP, but still. <laughs> Such a G2 thing to do. <laughs> ah, Philos has flash, by the way. He can kill both. He can kill all the guys as well? Maybe? No. That's such a G2 thing to do, no? You fight two top and three mid at the same time. It is it is a good play, but uh, you don't often see teams do that because most teams go for one play at a time. So two plays like this at the same time is not normal to see. But G2 are definitely the team that uh, does it, if anyone. So that is a good sign, actually. That, that, that is a good sign to see as a European fan because that, to me, is G2. Scrappy, skirmishing, a lot of uh, creativity on their champs. Rel, Sejuani, Silas, I think are perfect picks for them. And then even though I'm not a big Fiora fan, uh, I think it's still better than Warren for G2. Because at least Broken Blade is playing carry. Even though it's not a carry I would like to see, it's still a carry. 
straight through. Yeah, just no real way through. And you can see how powerful the AoE engage there of the Rel is when you're playing up against that Tom Kench. Find the Tom Kench. Great health is not going to save you because you can actually crack that with the Q on Rel. So, uh, well played there by Targa It was a good draft. Now we're going to try to find Broken Blade here. Great the post into the ulti and getting away. I think this is good. This is exactly what I want to see from my Fiora. This is great. And also well played. Very well played. But this is this is where I want my Fiora. This is what I want for my Fiora. I want him to be here, pulling people, and while he's pulling people, your team is getting something. In this case, it wasn't much, but it was Vision and uh, Deep Wave top. So even if it's not much, it's something. And that comes from him doing that bot. I don't want him doing what he's doing now. I think he's just doing curb actually, so it's fine. But I don't want to see him running mid now. I want to see him running bot after the crab and the plant. It's going Gromp for now. That's okay. The enemy doesn't know exactly where he is, so they still have to respect. Doing Gromp is better than showing mid, even though showing mid is pressuring and doing Gromp is not. Because now they don't know, so they can think he's camping bot, they can think he's behind them, maybe, in the jungle. I don't think he should go mid here. I want him bot, but he's not running bot. I see, you give Maokai to get your own Maokai. Clever. Clever. I see, smart. <laughs> so clever. <laughs> you actually have Maokai, but there's two Maokais. <laughs> Set is tipping top. I don't think Fiora should... Actually, Fiora kind of has to TP. She has no wave to pressure. I think she has to TP. Yeah. She's tipping now. It's going to be a 5 5, but at least Fiora has really good uh, flank here. But Caps is dead, actually. This could be really bad for G2. This could be really bad. It doesn't look like it matters. Oof. I should be Baron. That was, that was kind of scary. But they're. Yeah. Maybe they're too ahead for it to matter. Or maybe enemy team champ is too bad because they're actually not that ahead. It's 4k. But when you look at EG, it feels like they don't have damage, no? They don't do any damage. They have basically three tanks, a useless jungler, and a, like a pseudo, pseudo bruiser, bruiser AD carry. Shield bow, Tabis is pseudo bruiser, I think. Not reliable. It can get banned. Ooh. Pluck it. And he has. <laughs> Caps has uh, it. Actually, Silas is. Uh, kind of cheating, you know? I talked a little bit about this yesterday. There was someone in chat yesterday that asked about uh, Sleeper OP for the tournament. And in the beginning of the tournament, I thought that this is Silas. Because there's too many good ults right now in the game. With Sejuani, Aatrox, Maokai, Meta. Having Silas is really nice. And I think you can see it here too. Like. What a difference Silas makes in your team. And it's cap Silas as well. Actually, everyone played really well this game in G2, I think. 